It was the statue that nobody predicted would fall. Felix Jasinski, the architect of Russian state terror, pulled from plinth to pavement as the Soviet Union collapsed. The thousands cheering thought it was the end of the KGB, the system, the murders. But Jasinski isn't quite done yet. He ended up in this park next to an artwork about Soviet victims. Here, he was supposed to become a relic. But in today's Russia, state security is still accused of killing dissidents and controlling power. The statue moved, but Jasinski's legacy lives on. When we tore down him on Lubyanka Square, uh, actually uh, it wasn't the end of the story because uh, the KGB headquarters remained on the same place and it uh, uh, kept its functions. So now we have uh, FSB headquarters uh, in the same place and institutional design wasn't changed dramatically. So the uh, system of state uh, security still works. And in a country plagued with corruption and poverty, there's even growing sympathy for once reviled Soviet leaders. This is one of the last remaining statues of Stalin left in Moscow, and yet amongst many Russians, his popularity is going up. The city has learned that removing monuments does not necessarily change the memory of the man. Such is the concern about the rise in Stalin's popularity that thousands are erecting plaques to remind people of those killed under his rule, like Fyodor, whose grandfather was shot by the authorities. He was 43 when he was arrested. I am proud that they couldn't torture him into confessing to phony crimes. My mother often cries about it. We never even knew where he is buried. But minutes after the plaque went up, a Stalin sympathizer tried to take it down. Stalin was the most productive leader of our country. He did so much for it, more than anyone else has ever done. OK, things have changed. There's a historical context. It was normal to shoot people then, but it's not now. I want a leader like him. There are even calls for notorious Soviet statues to be returned to Moscow's main streets. Sergei Parhominka still remembers the day Zezinsky came down. It was maybe one of the most important and uh, most exciting night of my life. I'm sure that m lots of KGB people and Putin and uh, lots of Putin's crony dream to have this statue, statue on, the, on this place. I think it's uh, not a good idea to place something or this place because just the empty place is, is, the, is the best the best image and, and the best uh, uh, best expression of this of this uh, anti KGB idea. For now, these statues will remain in this quiet park, but it's a lesson to world movements that though they can fall, it's harder to keep the ideas of the dead at bay. Dan Ashby, SABC News, Moscow.